everyone, welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today we are going to whip up a mail in a jar beef stroganoff. So this beef stroganoff is a like a hamburger helper type thing. Um, super simple and easy. I'm going to use beef dices in this today, but you could definitely use ground beef in this as well or your TVP. So whatever it is that you want to use, you definitely could. We're just going to use some simple ingredients from the pantry, uh, some freeze dried food. You could definitely use dehydrated, whatever brand that you like is going to work for this. I'm going to use some egg noodles, some instant milk, a little bit of sour cream powder, some beef cubes, and some mushrooms, and then just some seasonings from the pantry. So let's go ahead and get started. I love how simple these meal in a jars are. They are really just so easy to throw together. And then when you need them, they are fast and simple. Just add water, most of these. This one is a just add water, which I love. And we're gonna start these jars with two cups of egg noodles for our beef stroganoff. And I like to put the noodles in first because all the powders can just kind of fall in the cracks. And that way we've got it takes up less space and we can have a little bit more beef and mushrooms in there. So two cups of egg noodles and I'm using quart jars today. So uh, you could definitely cut this recipe in half if you wanted to do pint jars. And the quart jar is going to feed about four people and a pint will feed about two. So once I get my noodles in, I like to just bang the jars down a little bit just to make sure we have plenty of space for this and then we're gonna start putting our seasonings in and I'm gonna use two-thirds cup of powdered milk for this we don't want too much but we want it to be nice and creamy like beef stroganoff so about two-thirds of a cup and we're gonna put that in each jar And then we'll add two teaspoons of onion powder. We want that in there, give it nice, good flavor. And then we're gonna add two teaspoons of garlic powder. We like it nice and garlicky. You could reduce this to one teaspoon, I guess, if you'd like, or take a little out, whatever, however you like it. You can definitely adjust all of these to your liking and that's what I love about these meals they're not pre-done by someone else so if there's something you don't like you don't have to add it you can put something else in or just skip it usually then we're gonna grab our sour cream powder and I'm gonna put one tablespoon of sour cream powder in each one they can be a little heavy it just gives it that nice flavor of the sour cream in there and we like to have that because that just makes this dish pop. Then we're going to add about half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning to each one. You don't have to do tons of this, but just adds to that flavor. And I just do about half a teaspoon. And we're also going to do half a teaspoon of paprika. I'm using smoke today, but whatever you have for paprika is going to be just fine they both work well and it doesn't have tons of flavor honestly so you could skip that if you don't have it not a biggie just about half a teaspoon then we'll grab our salt and pepper and I'm gonna do oh about half a teaspoon of each in each jar just salt and pepper to taste really I do about half a teaspoon that's plenty for us and you could go heavier on one than the other whichever one you like we like to get good flavor in there then we're going to grab our beef bouillon powder and we're going to add three tablespoons 
of that to each jar. This way it's got a nice beefy flavor. Then we're going to grab our cornstarch and I'm going to do one heaping tablespoon of cornstarch. We want this to be nice and creamy. We don't want the sauce to be runny. So we like to add that cornstarch in just to make sure it gets nice and thick and saucy like it's supposed to be. There we go. So now I've got all my seasonings in the jars. I just need to add the beef and mushroom. And I'm just going to kind of bang these a little bit. Get all those powders down in there. You can see they take up quite a bit of space. And that's why I put them on top of the noodles. That way they fall down and fill in those holes. There's plenty of holes in those noodles. Once we get all those packed down, I'm going to add one cup to each jar of our beef dices. And you can do this with any meat that you like. If you wanna use beef chunks, or you could use ground beef for this, or TVP, the beef TVP, any of those that you like. I'm just gonna add it one cup. And if you've got little dust in there, even better, that just adds to the flavoring and the nutrition, and it's just lovely. So I never throw that dusty stuff in the bottom of the can away. I always save that too. I always put that right in because it's delicious and it just adds to it. Okay, and then to finish this off, we're gonna add just some freeze dried or dehydrated mushrooms, whichever one you have. And I'm gonna do about three quarter cup. I wanna fill this up. I don't wanna go all the way to the top. I want a teeny bit of room in there for if you wanna use a oxygen absorber or if you want to put a desiccant in there and just about three quarters of a cup just as much mushrooms as you can fit in there and I just shake them in and there they fit it worked so there we go and we've got our jars nice and full so we're just going to finish putting these three quarter cups of mushrooms in here and fill these jars up So that is it for putting your meal in a jar together. Um, you just wanna make sure you clean your rims really well so you get a good seal. And you can add an oxygen absorber, put your lid on and let it seal on its own. Or you could vacuum seal this. Um, you could just put the lid on if you know you're gonna use it within a year. Um, just put the lid on, it'll sit in the pantry just fine for a year like that. Um, and this is beef stroganoff and I'm going to use five cups of water. So let's head over to the stove and cook one of these up. All right, so we're going to get this started with five cups of fresh filtered water. And then we're going to take our whole quart and dump that beef stroganoff right in there. Yummy. Get all of that out of the jar. There we go. And I'm just going to give this a really good stir. We want to get all those powders rehydrated. And we're going to put bring this up to a boil. Okay, so we got this to a good rolling boil. And now we're going to turn this down to and just simmer it for about 10 minutes. We want to make sure those noodles are all cooked. And we will check the beef because that takes about the longest to rehydrate. Um, about 10 minutes so we're gonna give this about 10 minutes and then we'll be done okay so after your 10 minutes of simmering I just wanted to show you it's still a little bit thin here but we're gonna go ahead and turn this off and we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes just while we get the plates together and stuff like five minutes and I'm gonna put a cover on it and this is gonna thicken up a little bit while it is sitting and that's it. Beef stroganoff is really super simple and easy. You've got your mushrooms and your beef in there, your noodles. It's nice and creamy. There is some sauce in there, which is great. I love that. 
and this is just so delicious. What a great emergency meal. If the grid is down, this is super simple and fast to cook. All you have to do is add water. You've got everything ready and you get to adjust the ingredients so your family really likes what you're having to eat in emergency situations. Meal in a jars are absolutely my favorite to have on the pantry. So quick and easy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delish. This is a spin off, like a hamburger helper type beef stroganoff. It's really good, simple to do, and you can mix up those meats with whatever you have, which is great. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.